This is a test of frequency instruments, bass, drums, distortion. Experts tell them might not work. Currently, Liverpool is the only area of England with the top high-risk measures, with gyms and casinos also affected. The Transport Secretary says Italy, San Marino and Vatican City have been removed from the government's safe travel list, meaning people flying back from those places will have to self-isolate when they arrive from Sunday morning onwards. Crete, though, is back on the safe list after officials decided it posed a lower risk. In the last 24 hours, there have been another 18,980 positive cases of COVID-19 reported in the UK, 744 fewer than yesterday. There have also been a further recorded 138 deaths. Police say a Scottish MP who got on a train from London to Glasgow despite knowing she had COVID will face no further action. New laws around self-isolating didn't come in until after Margaret Ferrier received the test results. The government in Wales has confirmed the travel ban there will affect students. A ban on crossing into the country from COVID hotspots in the rest of the UK is due to come into force tomorrow. A 66-year-old man is being prosecuted over the crash which killed footballer Emiliano Sala. The the Civil Aviation Authority has charged David Henderson of acting in a reckless or negligent manner and being involved in the commercial use of the plane involved in the crash. He'll appear at Cardiff Crown Court later this month. In the city, the FTSE 100 closed down 102... ...as well, in space, um, but then I do just private class, private one-on-one with puppies in people's homes. Like, I've gone back to going into people's homes again. Joe, there is an, there's two exemptions. There's one for business and there's one for education. So if this is your job and you are running it as a business, then you would be allowed to do that indoors. It's not socialising, it's not a gathering. You would be doing it for business or you could say it was for the purposes of education if you thought that was more relevant. So under both of those, you should be okay. But they would say as long as, as you said basically there, social distancing remains in place and you make sure you're taking the precautions that they, you've been, we've all been advised to do. Okay, fantastic. That's, that's music to my ears. Thank Good, Jade. You. Jade, is there? Uh, let me ask you a question. Is there such a thing as an untrainable puppy? No, I don't believe so. There we are. Jade, good luck with your work. Thank you. Scott is in Bromley. Hi, Scott. Uh, good evening, Eddie. What do you want to yeah, ask, Ben? Um, yes, so my question is on uh, garden gazebos. I live in uh, Bromley, a uh, London borough of Bromley, who are going into tier two. It's got to go, and the Euros is coming in anyway, so it might just be part of the same thing. Dave, always great speaking to you. I don't know why I'm laughing today, because nothing that we have talked about on this show is actually funny. But if you don't laugh, what are you going to do, hey? Um, oh, well, Eddie, tier two, more mental health issues, more unemployment, more homelessness. So sad. You could argue about deaths in Sweden. But they haven't got all these lockdown problems that we have, uh, says uh, James. Hi, Eddie. There's a group on Facebook called Chill The Chilled Menopause. It's brilliant, caring, information, and support. Happy uh, to promote that. That's another one of these subjects. If it is something that's impacted on your life, Philippa K, GP here in London, will be with us taking calls. But Sharing stories helps other people. Maybe you've taken something, eaten something, drunk something, done a particular type of exercise. Had you spoken to somebody, did you think it was all going away from you? Maybe your hair started to thin or your nails started to break. What happened to you? What advice would you give other people? Do you wish you'd, somebody had spoken to you? We'll continue with that. Uh, 0800 731 2000, now at 6.30. Let's get the latest news headlines.